Welcome one, welcome all one more time here on your wonderful show at Sankofa. Uh, we are on uh, Galaxy Universal Network here in Johannesburg from South Africa where we are beaming, uh, sharing the greatest perspective of how do we look at ourselves as Africans. And if there is a subject that gets everyone cringing and the skins are crawling behind their skins, it is this whole demasculation and the whole reaffirmation, the conversation around this Jesus concept. And I'm so excited that African authors, young man and uh, that Mishek Mlaudzi has gone on to write a book. Boom! We have it right now. The book is entitled Could Jesus Be Black? Could Jesus Be Black? Please, his details are appearing at the bottom. You want a copy of this book? A young man has gone to lens to establish the whole concept of theology, the theological uh, explanation of an Afrocentric perspective on the issue and how we look at Jesus. Welcome one, welcome all. Thank and you here sir. you are Thank you on so my much. show, Ntade Mishek Mlaudzi. Yes, yes. Who are you and what are you? Before we go into your book, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes. Where are you coming from uh, and what keeps you awake at night? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for welcoming me in the show. Uh, and uh, so my name is Meshak Marauzi, all the way from Venda in Limpopo. Yes, Venda, Venda. Venda, where the hand of Rwanda? Riho, no Rwanda, Manda me. Vindi na mukukuru ubu Venda. Kezo, Kezo. So I'm I'm from the from the north, and mm. uh, by training I'm a chartered accountant. Um, oh. Yes. And you are right now into theology. And I'm into theology. You are chattering uh, theological accountants. I'm chattering into theology, <laughs> and um, yeah, I run my own business. It's been five years. Um, my business is centered around identity mm -hmm. and uh, teaching African kids to love who they are. Mm -hmm. So in the midst of doing that, I realize uh, maybe we need to go a little bit deeper mm -hmm. uh, to the ideas that people are taught growing up mm -hmm. about um, you know, exactly who they are, where they come from, and this person that they believe so much in, uh, could that person look like them maybe? Um, mm. and, then, and then, yeah, that's, that's pretty much they what say I say the Indian gods look like Indians. Mm. The Chinese gods look like Chinese. Absolutely. The European gods look like Europeans. Mm -hmm. But the African gods look like Europeans. Identity. What, what is it? Identity is, has been stolen. <laughs> what is it that caused you to write this book? Let's find out firstly. Yes, what, exactly. What caused you to, I, what pushed you? Yes. Um, I think for me, it's um, the, the work that I do in my business. Uh, I felt like it was a bit superficial because it, I was not really hitting the nerve uh, directly. Mm. One of the products that we make is black African dolls. Mm. And that those black African dolls. Dolls, yes. A mipopi for kids to play with. Mm -hmm. And that whole um, um, uh, uh, product came about to teach kids that this is a product that looks like you, it's beautiful the way you are, uh, love yourself the way you are. But you know that felt like you're just pouring water on top of the rock because nothing was sinking in. Mm. So if we can actually go deeper down into the values and the beliefs and what we've been taught, mm. um, just like most people when they grow up, there was a picture of the white Jesus. Uh, yeah. His name is Yahushua. So let, let, let's agree. Let's agree. <laughs> From the onset, your 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 premise is you want to to put the correct perspective absolutely to the biblical Yeshua. Absolutely. The biblical Yahushua or Hashua or Yeshua. Yes. Or, yes. So. Uh, Absolutely. You want to move him from the white man to his original picture. Yes, I actually want to show that his identity was stolen and he was Europeanized. Mm -hmm. Europeanized. Um, the, 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 the Bible that we have today, mm -hmm. one of the things that we don't actually think about it actively, uh, it went via Europe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a lot of things actually took place there. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, 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 it's a book designed to show people that, um, you know, you've been watching him as a white man, mm -hmm. but he's actually a black man. And when you do realize that, you have much more uh, closer connection. How did you come to that conclusion? A couple of scriptures and a couple of research that I've done. Mm -hmm. um, there is, interesting enough, I think our Heavenly Father Yahweh left. You have an hour. Yes. So take us through. Absolutely. It's your show. It's yes. your book. Yes. You want to tell the world out there yes. that Jesus Yeshua. Yes. Let's stop maybe using Jesus. Yes. Because Jesus is Greco It's not his name. Yes. So his name is? Yahoshua. Yahoshua. Yeah. So it comes from Yahweh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah is for Yahweh. It's mm -hmm. found in uh, Exodus chapter 3, verse 15. Mm -hmm. You're not going to find it in your Bible, sadly enough. It has all been taken and replaced by God and Lord. Okay. Um, so, yeah, only in New Living Translation you'll find it, mm -hmm. uh, where Moses was, um, was uh, talking to our Heavenly Father in the burning bush. Mm -hmm. And then our Heavenly Father say, I am who I am. Who's, when they say, who has sent me? Yes. What must I say? Exactly. I am and, who I am. But, but Moses, says, Moses couldn't say that because if he goes there, say, I am who I am, sent me. It sounds like it's Moses talking. Okay. <laughs> so uh, our Heavenly Father made it simpler for Moses and for everybody mm -hmm. uh, to say, uh, tell, tell the people that my name is Yahweh. 
is a name that I even revealed to the to the answer to the forefathers, to yeah. Isaac and and uh, and uh, Abraham, but I'm revealing it to you yeah. to use uh, to use to tell the people. So uh, Yahoshua, um, so the Yah from from Yahoshua comes from Yahweh. Mm -hmm. um, Shua means salvation. Mm -hmm. So his name uh, it reads salvation is from Yahweh or mm -hmm. salvation sent by Yahweh. Mm -hmm. um, so so that's pretty much where where his name comes from and that's where it started. So for me it was. Um, I think there's two things that Europeans were very successful at in terms of um, uh, demoralizing us and uh, encrippling our thinking uh, and, and taking over, in so doing, they, they, they can easily exploit us and take over our resources. It was, to, it was around image, and it was around name. Mm -hmm. And uh, those two things are very, very important, especially name. Mm -hmm. And as you read through the Bible, actually, it tells you, uh, like, for example, Yahushua, when he comes back, is going to say, people are going to say, but, you know, we, we prayed in your name. We worship in your name. We heal you. in your name. Exactly. But the name was very important there. <laughs> you know, if you go to Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4, uh, it talks about, you know, who created the universe. Yeah. What is his name? Yeah. What is his son's name? Yeah. So name is very, very important. This also part of the reasons why the European changed our names when they came here. Yeah. Uh, also when the ship... Uh, our, our I, said, I read a statement in one of, your, one of your writings here when you say the one who builds a building. Yes. He has uh, actually the right to name yes, the building. Yes, yes. So is it possible that after the creation of... Uh, of Christianity, Eurocentric Christianity, yes. the naming of Christianity. Because even if you go to Israel right now, names like James, John, Peter, and Matthew, etc., those names, you cannot that, find them. You shouldn't totally. find them. Yes, they were because added. So any name in the Bible, this is how you get the clue. Any name with a J mm -hmm. is not the original name. Mm -hmm. The J didn't exist until 600 years ago. True that. True <laughs> it was that, not yes, there. Yes. So what did they call them before that? Any mm -hmm. name with a J, just mm -hmm. wherever the J is, it means Yah was there. Mm -hmm. Um, any name with the E-L mm. or E-L inside a name. Mm. Like, for example, Israel. Or oh, some year. Yes, Zikia. some year. Zikia. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, yes, exactly. So uh, they, in the E-L, they removed uh, they removed Yah and they put E-L. Mm. And they put E-L, it's actually pronounced L. Mm. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's the God of the Canaanites. Okay. Uh, and they introduce him after into the Israel. Uh, yeah, into, so a name like Samuel, how must it sound like? It must be Samuel Yah. Sam Samu Yah. Samu Yah. Samu Yah. Yes. Samuya. Ezekiel um, must be. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Ezekiel is actually pronounced very differently. Uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel. Yes. Uh, name. Some of the names are not uh, necessarily easier to spot. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, Jeremiah. Yeah. Jeremiah is actually Jeremiah. Yeah. 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 Uh, Obadiah. Yes. Obadiah. It's supposed to be Obadiah. Mm -hmm. So all those it's names have been changed. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, so the, the name, uh, the, the name Yah and Yahweh has been mentioned six thousand times in the Bible, but mm -hmm. today you won't, you're not going to find it. And they replace it. And they replace it with the names like God. Mm -hmm. uh, God, so one of the things that so I... So actually the name God means nothing. It means, it doesn't, I have an issue with... Because it. you need the name for the God. Yes, exactly. God what is, is his name? God is just an what appellation. What is his name? God is an appellation and acceptance that there's something supernatural. It means spiritual but, beings. But the That's question it. is, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Yes, because exactly. God can be an Egyptian God. Uh, Pagan God. Uh, 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 an Indian Hindu. God. A Chinese God. Or... Anything. It's, so when you say I could, believe in God, yeah. you have actually said nothing. You have said nothing. Because you need to give us the name exactly. of the God oh, that you believe in. Yes. So to say I believe in God yes. does not necessarily make name? you a Christian. And did, did I get it correct? You're absolutely correct. And that's one of the things we should have asked the missionary when they came to Africa. Mm. Because they came here and said, no, no, throw away your pagan gods. Uh, believe he, in God. He, he, God. Whichever, what is his name? What is his <laughs> we name? We didn't ask that question. We just embraced him. And when wow. you trace the, 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 where the God came from, the Hebrew, mm. come from the word Elohim. Mm. And the issue, Elohim, yeah. yeah, Elohim. The problem with the Elohim is the plural word. Mm. We know God is one. Yahweh is one. Mm. So how can you... Yeah, your Israel. Yes. Deuteronomy 6, 4. Exactly. The Lord your God is He's one. He's one. Yeah. So how can you refer with to Shama him? Israel. Exactly. How can you refer to him being one or the plural word? It's a problem. But if you look at the Israelite tradition, they used to use... So Elo Elohim is going to mean spiritual beings. It's another name for angels. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, including the seraphims and... Uh, Cherubims. All, all of them together, spiritual mm -hmm. beings. Um, that Yahweh created, it does not include Yahweh. Yahweh is above that. He created all these things. Interestingly enough, in the Israeli Israya rather tradition, mm. they used to use the word Elohim exclusively for the fallen angel. Elohim. Yes, and Satan. Did. Interestingly S enough. Satan. Yes, and this is I, because I, I was wondering myself when I was reading a revelation where it talks about um, continuing on the prophecy of Daniel that um, 
uh, the, the man of lawlessness is going to come, you know, mm. sit into the temple, is going to declare himself as, mm. as the most high. And mm. how, Daniel 7, 25. Yes, how was he going to mm. do that? Mm. How was he going to change the name? Mm. And he get the world to worship him? Now let's go back, because slightly. So people, when they are praying in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, what is happening right there? Exactly. Are we calling on the right God, or we are calling on the, the, the Lucifer? Mm, they see, it's actually getting very, 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 very scary. And... Um, so, so, so the spiritual world is very complicated, but we know enough to understand what's going on. Mm. Um, so the fallen angel is also what's referred to gods. Gods. Yeah, plural. gods in plural. And the god with the capital G, mm. we're told is Yahweh. I don't believe it's Yahweh. I actually believe it's Lucifer. Mm. He's the head of the gods. Mm. Um, if you look at uh, uh, Psalms, Psalms 82, it talks about Yahweh. Uh, oversee the council of the gods, mm. the council of the Elohim, and he judges over them. And some 82 also says, no, you're not, exactly. but you're gods. Yes, but you're and you're going to die like it, man. You yeah. die like yes. common man. Yeah? It's those angels that cross the line. Remember, there's also uh, where mm. the Nephilims came from. In Genesis also, yes. the, the, son, the, the sons of God Slavery decided to have uh, some uh, relationship with, this, with the sons of men. It's very they saw that the daughters of yes. men were where? beautiful. Yeah, the right way there was fair. And if you look at fair, mm. it's the white people. So those sons of God actually slept with the white people. That's where the issue is. And the Nephilims, uh, I still believe he said the Nephilims were before the flood and after the flood. I still mm. believe the Nephilims are here or their DNA is there. And you see it with the characteristics of wanting to control. They want to control human, they want to control people, they want everybody else to save them. Which nation has got those characteristics? Wherever they want to go, they want everybody else to save them and everybody else to worship them, everybody else to hold them in high regards. Mm. So it gets very, very interesting. The spiritual world is quite, it's quite interesting. Mm. Uh, but but it, it, it is quite possible that when people are calling on the, on on the, the, on the J, yes. And when those prayers are being answered, who is answering those prayers? It's interesting. Yeah, Hoshua actually gave us a couple of case studies, especially in, in, in the book, because mm. people ask, but I, I, I prayed in J's name. Mm. You know, I got healed. Mm. It's not the name that healed you. It's the faith. And so he keeps saying it. Mm. He said, your faith has healed you. Mm. Most people in the, in the, in the, during the Yahushua ministry, they, won't, they never even mention his name. The woman of the issue of blood. Mm. She's just, if I can touch, touch, I know who this guy is. If I can touch the... I'll be sorted. It's interesting. She said, you can touch the fringes and mm. they change it to the, garments. And of course, the talit. Yes. The zitzis. Yes. If I can touch the zitzis. Yes. And of course, in my olden theological days, the zitzis. When you, how beautiful it's Psalm 133. Yes. How beautiful yes. when when people brothers come together. Yes. It's like oil, oil poured on their poured hands, flowing to the yes. corners of the beads, the even way. to the yes. ends Absolutely. of the garments. Yeah. So at the end of the garment, that's where the zitzis yes. are. So the zitzis are where the where the cloth yes. meets the dust. Yes. If I can touch the yes. dirt, I'll be there. No, don't, don't and, get, and, yeah, uh, it mustn't get you. <laughs> don't get me worked up. Flowing now. all the way there, and they are there for a reason. I mean, uh, in uh, Exodus, it, talk, it tells us why. They they're there. They. Mm. Why we should actually wear them is to Absolutely. remind us of the law. Mm. So remind us the of, the, of the commandments. Mm. Exactly. Mm. And that's part of the reason why we actually forgot that. So the faith is what, um, what, uh, heals, what the heals the person. Not the name. It's not the name. But it's very interesting if you have the faith and the right name. Imagine mm. what we can do. Um, and, and part of the reasons why we have lost our identity as black people, we are, uh, if you look at uh, uh, Deuteronomy 29, you mm. see all the cases that are listed there. I mean, that's pretty much Africa mm. and, bla and, and the black Americans mm. in America. Mm. Um, and in Isaiah, they talk about Yahweh has put us into deep sleep mm. because of our disobedience. Mm. But now we're starting to wake up. We're starting to know who we are. Mm. As mm. soon as we get to know who we are, we know who our Father is. And we start calling him by name. We start believing in him for wholeheartedly. Mm. He said, if my people who are called by my name. My name. name is very important mm. here. My name. Zambi. Yeah. Exactly. Huh? Exactly. You, 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 are you there now? Yes. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Which another so, country? So, <laughs> oh, actually, all, most of countries in Africa yes. actually have the ah, yeah, if, in them. If you look at Algeria. Yes. Yeah, yes. You know? Um, now maybe yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. They all have, and it's interesting enough. I also included in one of the chapters in the book. If you look at uh, most of the records of the uh, people who were taken to uh, slaves to America, mm. uh, have been destroyed. But there's, there's enough database that's left with about 800 uh, slave names, mm. and those names have yeah in them. All of them. They have yeah. When you come back after the break, we're going to be looking at the bastardization of the name Yeshua. Yeshua, who is the biblical concept of uh, this Messiah, this Christianity has come to call Jesus. Is it possible that maybe the European people actually stole African history, moved it into Europe, and they brought it back to us as a uh, K?
canned, possibly bastardized, adulterated concept of looking at Yeshua. And what are the advantages of having a Messiah who looks like the white people? What is the politics of a white Jesus vis-a-vis -vis the black Jesus? Next question, if Jesus was black, will the white people be Christians? <laughs> right after the break. <laughs> The fourth industrial technology era has forcefully changed how every profession has been working for its clients. The world has become smaller than what we used to think. Imagine the ease of talking to a person who is in Australia, China or Germany while you are in South Africa as if you're just next door. The ease that globalization and the fourth industrial technology have brought to humanity entail doing business anywhere in the world as long as you have the purpose and the means. It is our expertise as MB Chabong Incorporated to advise clients immigrating to South Africa on various permits and on opportunities for travelers who intend to sojourn in South Africa for a longer period of time. Shewa Rikpe, aye no ti kireju iti arulo. Nito rino ima wani isi lo ati ofiyangba ye. Shewa ni ofisa koko, lori awo iso wo ile ati igbanila ye. Lati gba iwe rino, punishe oko wo. For MB Chabangu Incorporated, Reba Energy, the Nota Re Leba Sevedisi, Lady Office Jarmakua Pretoria, Johannes Beckley Bloomfontein, MB Chabangu Incorporated, Ukumaneva, Rabu Nolo Bariki Barina, Ukumana Chavu Sole Serin Gabu Dalo, Rehopela Lerle Lechamoga Lobo 012 341 4187, Hoba Lerin Wanale Lemwalo Tubi Lago Admin at Chabangu.co.za. MB Chabangu Incorporated, more matata akuma na gotarollo. The bastardization, the bastardization of the name Jesus to the to to Yeshua rather to the modern Jesus. The entire Christian community right now around the world runs around shouting in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, Jesus' mighty name. Did Jesus ever hear that name being called on him when he was alive? When he walked on the face of the earth, did he ever hear that name being used on him? Closely, if you look in the biblical text, you shall bear son, his name shall be Manuel, which means Yah is with us. Mm. What is it that exactly happened? between the Yah is with us, Yah is in us, as given in the book of Matthew 1, 21 and 22, to the Jesus that the Roman Catholic Church, together with the Western bastardization, bast bastards rather, the Western bastards who come here telling us that Jesus is a white man. What are the politics, the economics of this new Jesus? We're here with us in studio today with Ntate Mishak Mlaudzi, taking us through on some paces. It's done a quite a beautiful piece of work here. The research, is it possible that actually by calling on the name of Jesus, would be calling on to the devil himself? Ho! <laughs> that sounds a bit scary. Because that Jesus never existed. It is a theory and an appellation of the European and Eurocentric you know, form and format of faith. How? Did that process happen? Yes, exactly. So, I mean, uh, the, the Europeans have their own agenda, is to control the world. Um, and it all started uh, by, uh, in, in Rome with Constantine. Constantine was the biggest uh, culprit of all this mess that we have today. Uh, and what he wanted, he wanted unification of the Roman Empire because mm -hmm. there was uh, a bit of a shaky ground and the empire could, could split. So he realized how important religion is and mm -hmm. how powerful it is possible that people could split or could revolt against mm -hmm. the government because of their beliefs. So he called the Council of Nicaea mm -hmm. and he called the bishops together. Mm -hmm. uh, this included Mithraism, worshipping of the sun, included uh, the worshipping of the star from the, um, from the Jews, uh, mm -hmm. the fake the so-called Jews today, it included the Islams, including everybody, and they they combine all this all these beliefs together, and that's how the text got corrupted. Mm. Um, 
and, and they produce the Bible as we know it today. And very interesting uh, enough, so many books were left out of the Bible. The maybe, maybe I should push you and yeah. say, is it possible that the Bible and scriptures are not the same thing? When you talk about the scriptures, as Inch, of the entire... Interesting. Yes, I mean, Bible is from... Um, Selected. B B B Biblos, which is... Biblios, yeah. yeah, which is from... Uh, 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 Egyptian papyrus. So it's, it's just books. It's a collection of books, and they're all complete. Uh, if you if you go to the very first King James that was produced in 1611, mm. it had uh, the apocrypha books, mm -hmm. uh, jubilee, mm. uh, um, in, um, uh, uh, in Tobit. In Tobit, the, it no, um, uh, Enoch was there. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot. Of, why were they removed? They were there. And it's interesting when you read the Book of Jubilee uh, and, and a couple of these books and turn it, it exposes you and tells you who the white man is and mm. what his agenda is. They're the sons of Esau. Go slowly. Go slowly. Mm. Yes. The Edomites. The Edomites. Absolutely. Mm. You know them. Mm. Go read. There's one book in your Bible with one chapter. Mm. Very simple book. And I'm sure most people have never read it. It's called Obadiah. Mm. It talks about Edom. Mm. It's telling you what the end result for the white man is. Mm and they're going to come. Book of Obadiah. Exactly. One chapter. Yes. If you read that book, as a black person, you're going to be excited because you know how the ending is going to be. The white man is going to get destroyed. Um, and their technology. And their technology. It talks about them. It talks about... Um, I the think, book, please listen to the young man. <laughs> if you have a Bible next to you there, wherever you are, pick up the book of Obadiah. Yes. The book that is written to the Edomites. Yes. The Edomites, remember, uh, Jacob had two sons. Yes. That is uh, Jacob and Esau. Yes. Esau is the father of the Edomites, and it says the skin of uh, Esau was light, it was yes. reddish, it was, uh, you know, the, the, the red skin, yes. he had yeah, lots of, of hair. hair, and he had hair yeah, on him, the it. proper <laughs> Africana, the Buro <laughs> himself, according to the Bible, yes. it's not me. Yes. They should not have brought this book, because they thought we would never read it. Yes. Now that we read it, we find that actually the description of the white man is not together with the description of the black person. Yes. The description of the white man is actually the Edomites, yes. the reddish skin. And now he's saying, the young man is saying, you must read the book of Obadiah, Obadiah. the book written specifically to the demise, yes. the destruction yes. of the Edomites yes. and the anger of the Edomites towards the Israelites. Yes. has never ended. Yes. The war between the white skin and the black skin. There are only two nations on the face of the earth. Either you're white, Oh, you're black. I mean, I saw this when I was in the UK the other day. Mm -hmm. They're only black or people. white. Absolutely. You can be saying, I'm, I'm colored. I, mean, I had a friend yes. who was traumatized when they said, um, tick here. And then I ticked black. Yes. I, don't, I don't doubt who I am. Yes. I ticked black. Yes. Then he looks on his black. Black or white? And another one is white. I think. And he says, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not black. <laughs> I'm not white. I'm colored. He says, you're colored. Because you're colored, you're actually black. He says, no, I'm not black. Says, but you're saying you're colored. You're Anything color. that is color, it is it's black. Absolutely. And he was traumatized, totally pushed out of the common sense. Lack of identity. That's Lack the issue. Identity. That's the thing we're actually worried about. Uh, we, we, it's destroying us as black people. We don't know who we are. We take us through. Take us through the concept of uh, the migration of uh, Yeshua or Yahuwah. Yes. Or Yahushua yes. from the North African region yes. into Ethiopia, into Rome, into Europe, into America, and back to Africa. Yes. By the time he comes back, blue eyes, blonde hair, blonde hair, white hair, mm. and etc. What could have happened? Isn't Where did they actually manipulate the picture yes. from a black Jesus to a white Jesus? Yes, exactly. Uh, like the, the, the agenda of the Edomites, uh, like you said, the fight has never ended between the Edomites and the real chosen people of, mm. of, of, of Yahweh, the Israel, Jacob's de descendants. And um, they know that when the people, the chosen people of Yahweh, the Israelites or Israel, uh, identify who they are and stand in, in Yahweh's um, name that he's given them, they have so much power. They can actually destroy them. Uh, we were told to destroy all the Canaanites. Mm -hmm. uh, those are also uh, a mixture of Esau there. And Esau knows that you know if we, we comply with Yahweh, listen to his laws, 
uh, Yao will side with us and we can destroy him. Mm. We can destroy Edom, we can destroy white person. And white person knows that. He actually knows the Bible more than we do. Mm. And he's always been on the mission of trying to hide the truth, of trying to distort the truth. So you never find out who you are as mm. a black person. Uh, in that way, he can control you and he can rule over you. Because it's, it's like you said, it's two nations. Mm. One will rule over the other. Mm. Uh, they say the younger will rule the older. Uh, it, it, that was Jacob I loved. Yes, exactly. Esau. I hate it. Yes. And the Esau are the Edomites. Yes. Then the scripture, if I could write my own translation, Absolutely. says the black people I loved. Yes. The white people I hated. Yes. And is the mentality. You can actually be black in complexion and have a white mentality. Mm. That is the thing we are against. That's why Paul talks about Shaul, talks about it is the the principality that we're fighting against. Mm. It is this mentality, Ideologies. ideology, this mentality of think I'm better than you. It's like, I mean, we also get it, unfortunately, amongst our black people who are lighter than we are. But intoxication, and, intoxication yes, of Eurocentric theories. Absolutely. So mm. they are siding with the Edomites, and, and, uh, and as we read the scripture, we know that not all the people of Israel, all mm. the black people are going to be saved, only one third will be saved. Because not all like, that say, yeah, 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 absolutely. will be saved. Yes, absolutely. So not all that are calling upon the name of the Lord will, yes, have to be saved. will be saved. Now, yeah. I'm sitting here in the studio today with a young man by the name of Misha. He has written a book, Could Jesus Be Black? Is it possible? And then I'm sure that question is a rhetoric question. But in the midst of us doubting whether Jesus is black or is white, but the question is, what does scriptures, what does the Bible, what does the word tell us about the true identity of Yahua, yes, Yahshua. Yes, Take exactly. So, I mean, the, the, the obvious scriptures that most people are aware of is Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Mm -hmm. It describes, this is um, uh, John, the one who's referred to as John, but his real name is Yakanan, Yakanan. Uh, and he's seeing in a vision, he's seeing uh, the risen Yah uh, Yahushua um, in the heavenly places. Mm -hmm. And he's going to tell him exactly what was going to come. Uh, the revelation of what's going to happen, and he tells him to write it down. And Yakana and John describe how he looks, and he says in verse 14, he says, his hair on his head was white like wool. Mm. Your hair and my hair, this is wool. This is the hair that tangles. Mm. <laughs> it's not blonde. The dread man. It's yeah, not man. blonde hair mm. that flows. Mm. <laughs> so he's telling us he had afro. Mm. And when he goes to verse 15, he actually tells Peach black afro. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Peach black afro. Uh -huh. um, his hair is aged now. It's white. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you look at our grandfathers. I, I remember a little bit of You're love. getting close there. Absolutely. <laughs> so, My name is Vudijena. Absolutely. Yeah. Which means white head. Oh, so okay. my grandfather thought that when I get old, actually. You're gonna. I, I was actually looking this is the morning. the beard that are starting the. <laughs> looks like we're starting at the You're bottom. You're starting at the bottom. But it's. end up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it's wool and there's uh, wool. And his complexion in verse 15, it talks about it was like, um, it was bronze. So the word you're going to find in your scripture. Bronze. Yeah, the word you're going to find in scripture is bronze. Mm. It was not bronze. Mm. It was copper. You must go to Strong's Concordance. It's actually free. You can download it on your app. So what, it, what this does, a dictionary that, con, that uh, shows you what the English words that you have in your Bible, mm. which Greek equivalent they came from. Are they borrowing from? Yes, exactly. So if you look, you trace the word that they actually use here for bronze, actually copper. Mm. And copper is more closer to our skin. Yes. Bronze is more European. Mm. So they change and put bronze here so that he looks a bit But like even that. bronze. Even still, bronze, still, exactly. Still, still yes. they, you need to compensate for it because yes. bronze is, is towards, towards, to, towards, towards darker. Exactly. Mm. So no matter how much they distort the Bible, the truth mm. is actually still very much there. Mm. Uh, and it's very interesting. I mean, there's also a, a, an instance what, uh, what happened was when Yosho was born and Herod. Herod was a, was a, was a king. He was a European. He was, he was a white man. He was they a just, Roman. So, just, yes. Make it clear. He was a white no, man. No, let's go for yeah, you see? Actually, the people who killed Jesus. That's what I said. We're white people. It's Pharisees. The, 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 They're the converts. Romans. They're converts, yes. Uh, the Pharisees are also converts that actually came to join the, the Israel. Mm. And that's why he says, um, uh, I mean, it's interesting. They expose themselves all over and over again. They say, we've never been to captivity. We've mm. never been slaves to anybody. Mm. How can you say that when the Israelites were in Egypt for 400 years? Mm. So it's very interesting. Which other descendant of Isaac and Abraham um, was, was there uh, in parallel to Jacob, who was never in captivity? It's mm. Esau. So they're really telling you that we're we Esau. are the Edomites. Exactly. They're mm. telling you that. So it's very interesting. When Herod wanted to kill Jehoshua, mm. uh, what does Yahweh say? Go and hide. If it, was, if it was a white baby, mm. would it be a good idea to go up to Europe? Mm. That would be a brilliant place to hide. Mm. And, but he, instead, he said he must go to Africa. 
where he looks like the people of the land. You'll never identify with him. Exactly. I mean, you can't hide a white baby in, in, in the a middle black, of In a black village. Interesting. When enough. we come back after the break, we are unpacking this whole concept of the demystifying the whole idea of a white Jesus. And what are the advantages? What are the economic advantages of giving a black person the white Jesus? Is it possible that maybe by the time the black man accepts this new Eurocentric religion with a white Jesus in it, it makes the white man the cousin of Jesus? And by fighting the white man, the black man would feel like he's actually fighting the God who is in the white man. As you find in some of the African languages, actually, by the time you're coming to the white man, they call him Umlungu. And then they, when they call God, they also call him Mulungu. Is it possible that actually the bastardization of a white Jesus actually affects African theology? How can we unpack this? Stay with us. We'll be back right after the break. Brought to you by Tamani Technologies and Systems. Tamani Technologies and Systems takes leadership in fourth industrial revolution. The whole world is facing a transformation. The revolution will be developed into the following stages. Digitization, cyber security, internet of things, managed services, document management, and business applications. We provide business transformation and ICT solutions with presence in 13 African countries and two European countries. We are your leading partner in integrated platform providers, innovation leaders, standalone products, and innovation pace setters. Tamani Technologies and Systems, delivering value across continents. So when Christians uh, shout and scream, hallelujah, hallelujah, who is this yah that they are talking about? Over and above the hallelujah, we also want to find out. There's this whole myth that black people are cursed, according to the book of Genesis, uh, where Noah actually cursed uh, one of his sons. We had found him naked. But having said that, on the, casing of the, on the cursing or cursing of the black people, I'm not interested in how many nations came out of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. I want to know actually what was Noah's complexion. Mm. Because if you can tell me that Noah was a white man, then the white man gave birth to three sons, who is Shem, Ham, and Japheth. If you say Noah was a black man, then he gave birth to Shem. So which nation on the face of the earth mm. has the DNA to produce the other three nations. And so don't argue about the sons of Noah. That's not where the argument is. Let's identify the identity of Noah, because if we can know what Noah is, was, we can go back to find out what Enoch is like. We can find out what Seth was like. We can find out what Adam was like. And ultimately, we can actually find out what is our Heavenly Father Yahweh. Take it over from there, if that is making sense to you. Yes, yes, the description is actually mentioned in the Bible, so we should talk about Yahweh, and then we're going to come back to, to the case of the black people via Canaan, mm -hmm. and I'll explain what happened there, the manipulation that's taking place there. Um, if, you, uh, if you go to Revelation chapter 4, verse 3, it talks about um, uh, Yahweh sitting on the throne, and they tell you he looks like Jasper and Carnelian stone. Mm. Nobody ever bothers to Google the color of those stones. Mm. I would challenge the, the, the viewers to say, go Google the color of the stones. Mm. They look like us. What are the color of what are the stones? Jasper. Jasper. And Carnelian. It's in Revelation chapter 4, verse 3. Mm. Um, and, uh, clearly describing clearly describe how the, the, father, the father so we're, the we're, we're, we're done with it, Yeshua we're done with Yeshua yeah, yeah, okay. let's um, move over to his father black, I mean if he's black and he's the son of the father mm. 
Flags that like the black Jesus is born from a white from a white God. It that, can't. It's a misnomer. We know that white gene is a recessive gene. If you got if you got biology now, mm. white people are recessive gene. A black gene is a dominant gene, mm. and this is why black. If, you, if a white man, if a white woman sleeps with a black man, it's done. It's a black baby. It's done. You can never come baby. back. You it's can't come back. It's a black baby. So, and this is why it's very interesting. It gets very, it gets um, uh, very scared when you think about this. When they test medication uh, using rats, mm. which color rats do they use? Black rats. You, you, you actually use white, and the reason for that is because if it if it's safe enough for a white person, mm. the black people can take it. Oh, it's, it's the opposite. Yeah, it's actually it's, it's quite use, scary. They use the white rats. Yes, yeah, very scary to because protect themselves. It's a recessive gene. It's a weak gene. So if this medication works on the weak gene, but if it could work on the black one, the white man might kick it out. Exactly, it might kill them. Yes, it might kill them because I never knew that. they are dilution. They are dilution. Exactly. They are dilution. So you cannot get um, uh, black from white. You can get anything from black. It's interesting when you speak about Adam. Mm. The word Adam comes from Adama. the word Adama. Yes, which means uh, picked from the ground. Dark, dark mm. earth. That's the color of Adam. Look, show me white soil. Show exactly. me, show me, show me white, <laughs> white clay. Because if Adam was created from clay, and I, my grandmother used to make, uh, the used pots. to make uh, pots. Yes. And when you are making pots, honestly speaking, you don't just make pots from any soil. Yes. You must go to the side of yes. the hill, the, the end hill. Yes. You find that black, yes. dark soil. Dark one. Then you. But when you bake it. Sometimes it actually lightens up yes, because yes, it's in the fire. Yes, but but it doesn't break. It's strong. It doesn't break. It's very, very nice strong. and strong. So Adama actually Adama means Adama taken means, out of yes, the clay, of the of the ground. Literally, take right. us through. Exactly take us that. through. It's quite so Adam, Adam, we know he's, he's definitely a black man from um, the ground. From the ground. Yahua, we know. Uh, Yahua, we know. He's, it's 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 it's, 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 it's like brass. Pleasure. Yes, exactly. And the father. And the father, like we Kamel, know as well. It's interesting. Just by in it's interesting also in uh, in Daniel he describes that the one who was sitting. He said. Ancient of days was sitting on his throne, and he said his hair was white like wool as well. Mm. Talking about the heavenly Father. Combining with Yahuwah in the in revelation. In revelation, so it's very interesting. It's all our skin like us, and the hair like us. Um, so Adam was black all the way down. Uh, it, 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 you're not gonna find this in your Bible. You need to look at the apocrypha. You must actually download King James 1611 in mm. your app. You find it. Go to the Book of Jubilee. They describe what complexion. Uh, Noah was. Noah was albino. Albino, you might not have a pigmentation, but you're still black. Albino people can produce a black child mm. because they're actually black. Noah was an albino. Or was it albino? Was it a possibility that actually Noah was a product of the... Uh, <laughs> It's interesting. Let's go for it. His father, you know, um, his father asked, uh, uh, he, he went to Enoch and said, we need to inquire what happened. This child doesn't look like us. Mm. Similar to what happened to Esau. When mm. Esau was born, he's like, how come this one looks different? It's interesting they give description of Esau, never description of Jacob. Mm. Because Jacob looked like everybody else. Mm. He was black. Um, that's what they suspected, but he, he, was, not, he was not the No Noah was an albino. Uh, Noah was an albino. He gave birth to three black sons. Mm. This is where the confusion is. Both Shem, Ham, um, and, and Japheth. Japheth were black. Everybody was black there. Um, and then the, 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 the change between uh, black and white was from the, the, the twins, which is Esau and, and Jacob. Mm. Let's now talk about the curse, because most people get uh, confused about that. Mm. It's interesting. The curse that was uh, declared to, to, to the sons of Ham, it was declared to Canaan, not Ham. Mm. Not Cush. Yeah, not Kush, not other siblings, mm. not Mizraim, not Put, none of them. Specifically to okay. Canaan. Canaan is one of the sons of Ham. Who is Canaan? Interesting enough, exactly. Canaan is the very same people that Yahushua, uh, Yahweh, Heavenly Father Yahweh, when the, when, the, when the Israelites left Egypt to go to the Promised Land, Can, Can, Canaan, um, they told them to kill, to, to destroy them and mm. annihilate them. You must also check out in Genesis, it talks about the two wives that Esau married. He married two Canaanites' wives. So if you want to find out who, which people group have a case, is the Edomites, not us. Exactly. And only later, after Esau realized, hey, my father Isaac does not like me marrying Canaanites, he went and married the Ishmaelites. Mm. You remember who Ishmaelites is? Ishmaelites came from... Um, Agar. Yes, exactly. One of the sons of Abraham. Mm. Um, and this is why the Middle East is all white now. Mm. It's because of that. Mm. The offspring of the Ishmaelites' wife and, uh, and Esau. And they went and blended there. And, um, and they, so the case was for Canaan, not, not for, for Ham. 
Yeah, uh, th th that's one thing there. Um, we are not from the, the Israelites. So not all black people are Israelites, but all Israelites are black. Say that slowly. Not all Israelites, not all Israel. Oh, no, let me rather say this way. Not all black people are Israelites, mm. but all Israelites are black. Mm. Yes, exactly. So there was a lot of mixing between Shem, this is where the Israelites come from, mm -hmm. and Ham. There was a lot of mixing there. Mm -hmm. Jopheth, we know he went to settle up in the Europe, into um, the area where nobody wants to stay, the cold place. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, when Esau came all the way down uh, via Shem, uh, then he went and mixed with Jopheth. Mm -hmm. And this is why you get the whole Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. You must go check out who the first Roman Empire was. They actually refer to him as a king, the king of the Roman establishment. Mm. Is uh, Xiphon. You must go check in the genealogy. Xiphon is one of the descendants of Esau. So the Roman Empire was established by descendants of Esau, the, the white men, the Edomites. And they infiltrated the whole of Rome and they took over and they whitenized everybody. And they went all the way up to Europe, they whitenized. It's interesting, the Edomites have a new name. The mm. current name that we call them now. Mm. Uh, this is actually uh, discovered in the, in the book of uh, Joshua. Uh, they're the, the Dukes. The Dukes are the British. Dukes. Yes. Duke of Ellington. Yes. No, a, Duke of yes, London. Yes, Duke of. Uh, exactly. Uh, they are telling you who they are, <laughs> but your eyes are closed. And this is why Europe don't know. Yeah. Uh, yes, exactly. This is why Brexit. <laughs> why? Because we should be asking, you all look white. Why are you fighting? They know they're not the same. They know these Edomites came to infiltrate the whole of Jophet. And they're the ones who killed uh, Yahuwah. They are the ones. They want to crucify the, 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 the Messiah. Yes. It, 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 the history stares us in the eyes, yes. but maybe because of lack of uh, training, reading, skills, Is, we tend to yes. miss even information that stares us yes, in the eyes. Yes. So you're still explaining to me the, the, the whole nature of Yah himself yes. also being, being uh, likened to Yahuwah. Yes. So you're saying, according to the Bible, he also his hair was like wool. I cut yes. you short there. Yes. And, uh, he definitely had, his hair was uh, 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 white like wool, just like Yehoshua. Mm -hmm. His complexion was definitely like us, mm -hmm. um, being uh, a jasper and carnelian, mm -hmm. which is very close uh, close color to to our, skin. to our black skin. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, so, so it makes sense because he said, uh, Yehoshua, he came to show us who, how the father looks like. Yeah. It's very interesting as well. He talks about when he created Adam, he mm. said, I'm going to make you in my image, mm. in my likeness. Mm. That's not rhetorical. That's mm. not uh, figurative. Mm. That's real. <laughs> Mango day. He was they making. Say in Latino. Yes, he mm. was making this a duplicate. A duplicate exact, of himself. Exactly. He was actually doing that. So he, he cannot produce Adama, who is a dark person, when himself is white. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't actually make sense. But Europeans have a history of worshiping. Uh, images and pictures and things in the sky. Iconographies. All, yes, all about Zeus and, and, and these this pictures of nudity is actually spoken about in Isaiah. Um, and and, uh, and, and, and they, they try to export that to the, to the, to the, to the rest, to the rest of, of the world. Mm. And Genesis, it talks about, um, uh, I need to double check the verse, and it talks about um, Yahweh allocated the sons of men according to the nations. That's in Acts, actually. Yes, in Acts. Yes, yes. I've placed you on the face of the earth. So yes. Everyone can look for God, though he's not far away from yes, anyone Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so there are definitely angels that are in charge of different nations. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I'm highly suspicious that the angels are located to the side of Edom and the white men. It's part of the group of the fallen angel. Because those are the people who desire to control and make everybody pretty much worship them. That's what the white man wants. He mm. wants to be worshipped. He wants mm. to say, you know, I'm better than everybody else. Mm. And you guys must uh, do With something. me in the studio today is Ntate Meshach Malawzi. These are from the vendor tribes of the great north of, uh, of uh, South Africa here. These are our grandchildren from the great Zimbabwe. Solomon was mining right here next to us here. Can I say it much better? Uh, the Hebrews of Africa are right in the south and the vendor tribes have an inclination strong inclination go do your research google the word lemba mm -hmm. lemba you will find that they have more hebrew blood than the white people themselves here we are on sankofa unpacking packing african history finding meaning is it possible 
that by whiting, by worshiping a white Jesus, we are actually worshiping a demon. Don't go away. We'll be back right after the break. Bible is human and divine. It's important for us to remember. And I'm part of God's story. God is sealing you. God says what he means, and he means what he says. God is good. I am very grateful to God. I am healed. Amen. Make massive moves. With Stars Head. Make massive moves. Deceiver! There isn't any time to waste then. We can't save everyone in this war. One moment, that's all we got. You're locked in here with me. Make massive moves with Stars Hat. Welcome on, welcome all. One more time, you're on your program, Sankofa, live in Johannesburg, South Africa, Galaxy Universal Network, discussing the whole theological quagmire of the bastardization of the biblical Yahuwah, Yeshua, Yahoshua, Hashua, to this modern blue-eyed white boy they call Jesus. Is it possible that Christianity, by worshipping this white Jesus, indirectly they're actually worshipping the white man? Here with me is Meshach Mlaudzi from the Vendor Tribes, the Great Lambas, the Hebrews, the real Hebrew lights are coming out, correcting this history. We're not going to be waiting around here worshipping some white man together with this white idolization of this white Jesus with blue eyes. Tell the white Jesus to go back to the sea where he came back from. Take us through the Bible. Absolutely. The whole complexion of this Yeshua, Yahuwah. Yes, exactly. Who is he according to the Bible? <laughs> yes. What is the color yes. of the people of the text? Yes, absolutely. Start I, from the book of, and just go through. Yes, go all the way through. I think um, besides the fact that there's a specific description on how you looked, which we have explored already, mm -hmm. uh, the, the chosen people of Israel were described on how they look. And it's very, very interesting. So that's actually in chapter 12 of the book. And uh, we start off in in uh, in lamentation lamentation chapter 4 verse 8 it talks about their faces are darker than soot soot is almost like coal it's describing the israel mm. that's not white people <laughs> and then and then when you go to song song of solomon um it talks uh, about um, the, the woman who was uh, singing back and forth with Solomon mm -hmm. as he was as he was writing the, the love affair. Of love the affair, absolutely. Song of songs there. Yes, in uh, in chapter one, very beginning, mm -hmm. verse five, verse six, she says, "I am black, mm -hmm. but I." Um, is, let me just read it. I am black, but call me, O oh, daughters of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So she's black. She's the daughters of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. She's she's the real true Israelites. Um, if you go to Amos chapter 9, verse 7, it talks about, um, this is Yahweh speaking, mm -hmm. and he's saying to the Israelites, are you not like the people of Ethiopia to me, O children of Israelites? Mm. We know Ethiopians are black. Mm. He's telling them that the Shemites are very similar to the Hamites. Mm. <laughs> um, and, then, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then, and then, it's interesting, he also tells you where the Israelites, or Israel were scattered to and where they are today that's found um so, so he, he first tell you in deuteronomy mm -hmm. uh when he was giving them the, the 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 law on what to obey and what to command and what's going to happen to them if they don't chapter 28 yes it's chapter 28 verse 64 it tells them i will scatter you amongst the nation from one ends of the of the of, of the uh, from one end of the earth to the other mm -hmm. which people group are scattered all over the world it's black people. Mm. They're scattered all over the world. And it tells you in Zephaniah, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 10, 
it says, my people are scattered and live beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. Rivers of the Ethiopia is Nile River. Mm. Nile River started all the way from Egypt all the way up to Ethiopia. Mm. That's Africa, they disperse. Mm. They are right there. Um, they, some of them actually settle in Benin. Mm. Benin come from the word Benjamin. Mm. The tribe of Benjamin. Um, you Benjamin, Benjamin. Yes, ben, Benjamin. exactly, exactly, <laughs> yes, exactly. So there's so many evidence, it's just that we are not awoke to know what's, what's basically going on. Mm. So now, now let's look, have a look at some of the Bible, char um, uh, Bible characters. Maybe before we go there, let's just look at some of the rituals and things that we do as black people mm. that we consider to be normal. Mm. I started asking myself, where do we learn that? Where mm. do we get that? So um, the burial, mm. uh, black people will have um, nothing in their bank account, will have will own nothing, no property, but they will have a funeral policy. Mm. Where, did we, where did we learn that? Mm. Why do we take death so seriously? Mm. If you look at the tradition of Israelites, mm. they took funeral very seriously. Mm. They even had professional mourners. Mm. Um, when they, they hire them. They hire them. The death of Lazarus, they, exactly, they were professional mourners. Exactly, exactly. Mm. And, uh, and uh, their, their, their funeral lasted uh, for almost 30 days, mm. which is similar to us black people. After the funeral, we don't all go away. We comfort the person. We stay there. Mm. So where do we learn that? Um, so, uh, we also taking care of the visitors and the strangers. Mm. When I was growing up, my grandmother always used to tell me, when we dish up, we always dish up an extra plate in case the okay, visitor the walks visitor. in. Interesting what, uh, what uh, Abraham did when he was sitting there the and he saw the visitors. He didn't even know who they were. Please come in. But Spend he a night come with them me. in and he, 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 he prepared a nice meal for them. Exactly. What do we get that? But now, because we live the way Europeans live here in Jobek, mm. we can't welcome strangers because European people introduce, uh, they introduce scarcity, which causes crime, uh, sadly. Um, uh, taking care, uh, taking a burial seriously, we spoke about that. Um, and then tombstone unveiling. Where did we learn that? Abraham, we, exactly. the tombstone for Machpelah, uh, yes, for his ex wife Sarah. Exactly, mm. that's, that's, that's where it comes from. Mm. Uh, white people don't do that. For us, it's a big thing of remembering these people, mm. ancestors, the people mm. actually... Uh, Even Lobola. In Lobola. Even Lobola. I, I, was, I was about to get there. Let's go for it. The, bri for the it. bright price as well. Mm. Where do we learn that? Mm. Where do we learn that? Um, um, the, 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 the dowry mm. is, a, is a bright price. We see... Um, uh, Isaac, mm. um, uh, via the servant that was sent by his father to look for, for a wife who was mm. Rachel, he got there, he, 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 he gave some of the gifts to the brothers. Mm. Uh, in Zulu, that's members. Members. Exactly. That's, where did we learn Even that? the cutting of the covenant. The cutting of the covenant. Cutting in the animal in half. Yes, Abraham exactly. Abraham in 15 cut the animal yes, in half. Yes, exactly. When you cut a covenant, you must kill an animal. Yes, exactly. And River, now when you're getting married, you must have a sheep there. We cut it into cut half. In half. Half for the, for the groom. Yes. And half for the bride. Yeah, the question is, where did we learn that? It can't be the white men who taught us because they came here. In circumcision. Let's move. Oh, circumcision. Where let, did we learn let's that? Let's go further. There are so many things that actually do. Which are the nation on the face of the earth? Circumcised. That exactly, and who takes it seriously? Is vendors, we, Shanganis, we you know, causes Zulus. Everybody. Even Zulus, I mean, it was they just it was, Shaka. Yes, like because of Shaka. I was about to say that because of war issues. Yeah. It's very interesting. There's another song that the, the Americans, the Black Americans, sing to their kids, mm. uh, especially during slavery. Mm. Uh, it goes like Kumbaya. Mm. It's very, who is Ya? Kumbaya. Kumbaya. I said, let's sing a little bit. Kumbaya, Kumbaya my Lord. Lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my Lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my Lord. Kumbaya. Oh, Lord. There we go, there we go. Kumbaya. Yes. Yes, who in, is the Yah? In chapter 1, I edit the Lord out because mm. the Lord is also in incession by the white people. So we're going to include the Yahweh in there. So Kumbaya, these slaves, these black people knew who they were. Mm. Moses was black mm -hmm. because uh, we know the, the ancient Egyptians mm. were black. And Moses was um, raised by Pharaoh's mm. uh, daughter. Mm -hmm. If it was a white baby, How Pharaoh would bring out your white baby? <laughs> no, oh, that one is very interesting. <laughs> because if you are telling me that Jews are white, <laughs> so, are you saying that Jews were actually slaves? It's very interesting. In Egypt. <laughs> in Egypt. That would be very interesting. I would love to know how their skin but they, reacted to the sun yes. of, of, of Egypt. Of Egypt. Super hot. The Sahara. But they are very smart, these people. Uh. That's why the Arabs took over Egypt. 
And they whitened it. Ar they whitened it. And we know Arabs are white because Esau married an Ishmaelite. Mm -hmm. He had three wives, two Canaanites and one of the Ishmaelites. We know they are now the same people. So they've taken over the whole Egypt. They've taken over Libya. Mm -hmm. They're actually now trying to tell us, which is very ridiculous, that Egypt is not in Africa. Wait, is Algeria there is on not the in map? Africa. What Algeria do you mean? Algeria is not in Africa. It's like, Egypt is not in Africa. It's like it's, I'm looking at it on the map. How? What do you mean? It's not, it's not Africa. And they don't identify themselves as Africans exactly, either. Exactly. I mean, where have you found an Egyptian embassy mm. further down into Africa, Nothing, and them as yeah. Egyptians actually coming in to say we are part of yes, Africa? No, they are rather not, identified with, mid, with quote unquote Middle East, exactly. which is actually caused by the Suez Canal of the 1800s. And also because of the, the, the last conquering of Egypt, because Egypt has been conquered a lot and everybody who conquered it left. But the Arabs, when they last conquered Egypt, mm. they didn't leave. This day. You have some few moments to summarize. Exactly. Punch the few hold in two minutes and uh, tell people who you are, where you are, where people can find this book. There's a book in my hand here. Could it be possible that Jesus is black? The author is with me in the house here, Meshach Mulawudzi from the Vendor Tribes of the Lembas, telling us and demystifying de the whole bastardization of this white Jesus, this blue eyed boy who claims to be Messiah of the black people. I said it in one of my videos. People were mad. There's no white man who has died for a black man. Take it over, sir. Absolutely. I think it's, it's time for us to wake up and it's time for us to, to read through the scriptures, the very Bible that they try to change and try to distort. Uh, we can actually find the truth. So the book, you can um, message us in any of our social media platform. Mm. Uh, our, our handle is The Kingdom School. The Kingdom School. Kingdom School. Yes, on Facebook, on Twitter, mm -hmm. on Instagram. Um, you can find us there or you can drop us a WhatsApp mm -hmm. on 068-121-1939. Uh, 068-121-1939. Uh, we're trying to get the books to the bookstores mm -hmm. um, so that you'll be able to get it there. But at the moment, you can get it directly from us. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, it's very important because if you now realize that this, our Heavenly Father looks like you, the confidence that you have when it you change. It changes everything. It changes everything. Ch guys, man, let me not waste everything. your time, guys. Here we are. Here we are. We, I, 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 I got myself a copy here. I'll get it personally autographed. But please, do your best. Try and get a copy of this book. Beautifully done. It's all reference material, verse by verse, verse by verse, Bible by Bible. Guys, I'm not crazy when I'm telling you, <laughs> stop worshipping white people. Stop worshipping this white Jesus. Stop praying in Jesus' name. Even when Jesus was asked in the book of Matthew, teach us how to pray. Mm. There's no way in that prayer where he says in Jesus' mighty name. He says, our Father which art mm. in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as in heaven. La, 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 at the end, for thine is the kingdom. Mm. Do we have the kingdom as black people? The power. Do we have power? The glory. Do we have glory? forever and ever. Amen. There you give it. So read your Bibles, read your text carefully. And here we are sitting that uh, Meshach Mlaudzi taking us through. Is it possible that actually Jesus is black? You're parting short to the African continent and beyond yes. when it comes to the issues of worship. Yes. What must we do? We have to go back to the Bible. One of the things we told not to do is we, we told the Old Testament is gone and I'm just focus on the New Testament. Please, when you say the Bible, be clear yes. because we know that the Bible we are using is not correct. Yes. So I want you to be very categorically clear. One of the things I said of the prefaces is you need more than one translation mm. so that you can compare and see what has changed. I suggest the King James, New King 1611 James. 1611 edition. 1611 is really great. Um, New Living Translation is also good. There are a couple of things that they actually managed to, to, to bring to light. Uh, NIV is also the... Does the New Living Translation also have the Apocrypha in it? It doesn't have, unfortunately. So this, only this, this, only this. the 1611. But you need holistic because all the books, unfortunately, have been tainted. So well, the, got, the Bible of Ethiopia old, is 800 years older mm -hmm. than the KJV. Exactly. And the book of Ethiopia actually has... It's got apocryphas. It's got apocrypha yes, inside it. And yes. the, even the naming of apocrypha is they call them pseudopigraphers, yes. which means the false writings. Yes. You, you hear the, the arrogance of the white men because <laughs> you want to call them false writings. But so, they were in the King James. Uh, the first King James in 611 had apocrypha. Is, 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 what do you mean? So what false? is pseudo about it? <laughs> it's because it exposes Edom. 
and wow. they want you to. Uh, I'm excited. Thank you very much for coming and joining us. Thank you, wherever you are on the face of Africa, for giving us an opportunity to be part of your or to be part of our audience tonight. You in a phone in your houses in Bujumbura, you could be in Niger, you could be in uh, Chad, you could be in Kenya, Tanzania, Zambia, Malawi, wherever you are on the face of Africa. Thank you very much for spending time with us, and I want to say my gratitude and thank yous to Ntate Mishek Mulawuzi. You must go with you. Absolutely. Beautiful piece of work that he has done here. I want to recommend that. Please get a copy of this book. Do you have an e-copy? Not yet. We're working on it. Please get a e copy. Our audience is quite fast. We're working so on it. So that people can also access. Be on Amazon soon. Amazon very soon. Yeah. Take a lot also. Yes, take a lot And well. PayPal and yes. etc. Yes. Please get a copy of this book. Read. You need only black people, confused black people, who continuously be worshipping a white man's God. My name is Maponga J.H. Garamboko. Garma Shamba Uda Chira Nawa Nawa Wanji. Wobko, Tisu, Zizukuru V, Zato Vera. Wanachi Garma Uke Matanda Anobora. Sikuwe Ziteza, 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 Sikuwe Zite